My money got transferred to my bank account, which is what is allowing me to have a real breakfast. I spent a ton of money in Japan. It was worth it. It was a hell of an experience, but it also cut into how long I have to work on my startup. I now have five months of runway down from, I think, 10. So I pretty much cut my time in half. If I run out of money, I will have to get a quote unquote real job. That is something I would like to avoid. While I'm not out of money yet, I do want to keep an eye on the future, and that's why today I am interviewing with a company for a contract web developer position. That interview happens at 11 a.m. in about an hour and 20 minutes. So that's basically what I have today. Edit and kick ass on this phone interview. Okay, enough of this, so I have to eat breakfast. I'm starving. I am dreading this. I have severe telephonophobia. It's a real thing. That is a real thing. Having one phone call is just disrupting my entire day. It's over. I would say it went very well, but don't want to jinx it, so knock on wood. Do I retreat or do I just buckle down and try to do a lot with a little? The safe option is obviously taking a job. Is the safe option the right option? I would say not always, but it's tempting to build my nest egg back up uh, in a more surefire way. I'm going to have to think about this more. I am about to pull the trigger on this. That is the Joby Gorillapod Focus. Uh, with a ball head X uh, mount, and that is essentially a tripod with very flexible legs um, that can also be used as a selfie stick. The inspiration for using it as a selfie stick is Casey Neistat. He has a really incredible, versatile uh, DSLR vlogging rig, so I am copying that. I know that Casey has a ton of imitators and I'm not trying to bite his style but I have to say that that is a pretty ingenious solution. So I think I'm gonna get that thing and it looks like they do next day shipping so hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. I'm excited. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous in front of people. <laughs> Pizza time! I'm going to hop on a Skype call with my friend Jeffrey. Jeffrey and I met at the Cambridge Innovation Center, which is another co-working space here in Cambridge, a few years ago, and he has already gone through the ropes as a previous startup founder himself. So let's see what he has to say. Okay, I got it working. Okay, cool. All right, so how you been? And that alone, which is basically just like, generally like 48 hours worth of work, you just look yeah. at the code and write a little report, that alone pays $900. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, so GigTrip pays very well. Um, and the nice thing is you can be like, hey, I want to take on a lot of gigs right now because I want to make a lot of money. Yeah. You can be like, I just want to do this. So that might be a better option. I'd say stay away from anything that's going to keep you busy for 48, 40 hours a week. The hardest thing about going back to like a full-time job is 
the tra- the lifestyle transition. And mm-hmm. That really jarring experience. You're gonna feel like I was in this one mindset, jarring experience. Now I'm in this other mindset. If you if you have that kind of fluid movement, mm-hmm. just, I'm still in startup mode. I just have this other money coming in. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of mentally, it's a little bit different. Last night, I created an intro for the vlog. The only thing left to do was to purchase the music. I just tried to do that. The site that I'm buying it from is Audio Jungle, and they've locked me out of my account. They made me sign up for an account, and I was in the checkout process, and then they just wouldn't let me buy it. They said, your account is locked. Please contact support. So I contacted support, but also I don't um, want to wait for support to help me out. I mean, I want to just edit this video and put the theme in. Um, But yeah, I mean, like, what is this? What on earth? Why would you do that? Don't they, don't they want my money? Don't you want my money in Vato? Oh, my God.